New balls please everyone, it's time for another tennis game and this time it's Final Match Tennis on the PC Engine. Yes, an exclusive release for the PC Engine this and it bears very bears close similarities to one of my favourite all time tennis games, I think a lot of people's all time favourite tennis games as well. Uh, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Yes, this is for the PC Engine, um, released in 1991 and it's a pretty big, nice game, very good. Obviously, everything's in Japanese. These these names here, they're supposed to be famous names. So we're, we're, the roster is supposed to be the, the likes of Ivan Lendl, Boris Becker, Michael Chan, Stefan Edberg, John McEnroe, Andre Agassi, Jimmy Connors. So we're sort of transversing uh, decades as well in this game. Vod Laver as well. Henry Leconte, who, uh, uh, and all those. Whoa, that's a bit of a fast bounce. Off we go. He bounced that quick, didn't he? He's very... Oh... Lovely winner there to start with. Nice. I must admit, I'm not great at this game. Uh, there's reasons for that. I'm, I'm very used to the the way Super Tennis responds and moves. And this looks and bears all the hallmarks to Super Tennis. As you can see, it's very similar in graphical style. Presentation. The out and all that kind of stuff. Very similar. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't really play as well. Um... It's slightly more strict with the shots, uh, very, like that. The shot making is highly more difficult. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the way 8-bit um, uh, tennis games used to play. In the way the shot making is very strict, very tricky. That was pretty nice though, there. Um, so it hasn't got that sort of range and approachableness of uh, the likes of Super Tennis, or, or even Smash Court Tennis, uh, both of course on the Super Nintendo. Uh, didn't do its sales any harm though, it was a very successful tennis game, it was uh, acclaimed across the board for being very good. And it is a good game, I can imagine when it came out in 91, it would have been very very good indeed. Uh, of course in the same year, Super Tennis came out, which for my money supersedes it in, uh, well certainly gameplay aspects. I suppose graphically this might be a little bit slicker, certainly uh, clearer, um, the scrolling just as smooth, maybe maybe because of the Mode 7 used in Super Tennis, uh, this is a little bit smoother. And very basic there on the uh, uh, scoreboards, all down the line, oh is it that out? Oh, am I at the top now? Uh, oh, oh, come on! <sighs> Serve. There we go. Oh, we sliced it. Can I get it? Yes. Jump! Oh, see? The flight of the ball there. I do have a difficulty in judging the flight of the ball on this, this tennis game. So, oh, come on! How the hell did that... <sighs> anyway. Sodom balls to that, literally. Yeah, um, it spawned a couple of sequels, this did. Um, it spawned Super Final Tennis, Final Match Tennis, should I say. <laughs> All right, yeah, that came out in 1994 on the Super Nintendo, strangely enough. Uh, so it kind of was a sort of a sequel to the likes of Super Tennis and Smash Court Tennis, even though it's not by the same people. And of course, uh, in 1996, it appeared on the PlayStation as well in the form of Hyper Final Match Tennis. So, yes. I don't think um, the developers of this, Human Entertainment, they uh, I, I don't recall seeing anything other by them in the West, certainly. Uh, there is a, I, I, Various sources on the internet said that this has been ported to the Turbo Graphics. Haven't seen a ROM of that, so... I'm not going to nail my colours to the mast to say whether it's on the Super Graphics, or uh, Super Graphics, sorry, it's on the Turbo Graphics or not, whether it was ported to the USA, I'm not. I, as far as I'm aware, it was Japanese only exclusive on the PC engine. Ooh, got a set, I got a game back there. Good. Against serve as well, wow. Oh, damn it, went for a little short one there, but that didn't work. You can, uh, Pick your courts, of course. Pick your number of sets as well. As always, with all this this kind of era of tennis game. Oh, damn it. How did that... The clearance of that net is extremely strict. Oh. Oh, the, the, help me out there. Whee. Can I put my racket up and say sorry? No, bollocks. No, I won't then. Not for the man in the purple shirt. Oh! 
You see the way that dive there? That dive is very similar to Super Tennis. The, the, the gameplay itself is is so close to Super Super Nintendo Super Tennis in its uh, mechanics, look, graphical style, sound, everything. It just doesn't quite have it. It hasn't got that last sort of ten fifth, you know, ten fifteen percent of um, sharpness and tightness that Super Tennis has, uh, which is a pity because it's really nice to play. Uh, it can be fun once you get used to the the touch, as it were. Once you get used to the controls, it's pretty good. I mean, of course, we have um, it's defaulted to the to the two button system of the uh, Turbo Pad, the PC Engine controller, uh, and you can use the Start button, I think, for an extra shot. So you have uh, your flat serve, of course, slow serve, top spin, lob, and all that kind of slice. And each and that's an interesting thing because each player varies. They, they they don't all have the same type of shots in their locker. So uh, one player might have say uh, a nice slice on them. Uh, the following player might not have that at all. They might have a top a top spin baseline shot or something like that. But it all works off uh, the one and two buttons and of course the start button. I think select button pauses it all oh, down the line. Oh, that should have been a winner. It is. Yes, he's hit it into the net. Oh. Hang on. No, I hit it to the net. <sighs> I'm getting confused with the colours. Sorry. That's probably why I'm losing. I'm, getting, I'm looking at the wrong fucking person here. Right, I'm on the bottom, I'm in the blue. Right, there we go. I think I'm winning, I'm not. I'm bloody not in the purple, am I? Oh, fiddle poo. This guy's, um, yeah. Mm. Look at the guys in the white shirts at the back. They're very uniform. They're going by the Wimbledon tennis equivalent of... Uh... Oh, come on! You see, I didn't even pull back on that. You position your shot in this, much like Super Tennis and Smash Court Tennis, by, as you execute the shot, you uh, push up or down to gauge the power and the length of the shot. Uh, it, this, but it's so strict on this. If you hold back for like a millisecond more than you should, then it just smacks into the net or does that misses completely you your timing has to be really spot on with this like i said reminiscent of a lot of the 8 bit uh, tennis sims uh of you know a couple of years previous to this 89 90 very similar to that your timing has to be spot on proper so this is probably why i do like some of the future tennis games where it uses that sort of delay system where you create your shot and then hit uh, and you've got a couple of seconds to sort of plan that. In these early tennis games, it's absolutely instant. And some of them, like I said, Super Tennis makes it really work well because it's so tight and, and neat. Uh, double bounce there, mate. What are you doing? Uh, this, though, very unforgiving. So it can frustrate you a lot. So a bit too tough for my liking. And uh, it could just have a, ni a bit of a, a nicer learning curve to it. Learnable, of course, but uh, if you're used to uh, a lot of sharp tennis games, this is a mm, bit blunt, to say the word, as it were. But it's nicely presented, like I say. Interesting one, because it's exclusive to Japan. Wish I could read what was going on there. But anyway, it looks like I have lost. 6-3. Darn. Balls. Let's move on. I'm not going to get my prize money this time. So that's NRG for this, 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 well, this tennis game, another tennis NRG, final match tennis on the PC Engine. Cheers, and I'll see you next time. Nova Bug, out. Out!